Business Conference Phrase By David Pye, Unit 1 Expressing Opinions, Asking for an Opinion, Careful Formal How do you feel about that, Cecilia? Could you please share your thoughts on that, Sam? What's your view on this, Richard? Tony, what's your feelings on this? Expressing for an opinion, careful formal. I have the impression that, he didn't really want to come. Don't you think that that's a little early? I tend to feel it's a bit too early to start. Expressing an opinion, direct and formal. The point is, we're doing very well in this market. The way I see it, we're heading for trouble. Obviously, there's only one choice, basically, I think we have two options. Unit 2, Agreeing, Strong Agreement, A, I hate working in the evening. B, So do I. A, I hate working in the evening. B, I do too. Negative sentences to express agreement, A, I don't like tomatoes. B, I don't either. A, I don't have time this weekend. B, neither do I. A, we don't want to lose this deal. B, nor do we. Short answers with modal verbs, A, we won't do that. B, neither will we. A, we can wait two more weeks. B, so can we. Business conference phrase. Standard phrases for agreeing, I entirely agree with you. You're quite right. I couldn't agree more. That's exactly how I see it. That's just how I feel. That's exactly how I feel about it. Exactly. Absolutely. Words that mean very, very good, terrific. Wonderful. Splendid. Marvelous. Words that mean very, very bad, awful. Terrible. Pathetic. Miserable. A. That was just a miserable day. B. Yes, awful, wasn't it? A. Totally pathetic. Agreeing by using an example. A. This food is great. B. Especially the chicken. A. Michael Ballack looked great last night. B. Especially the way he passed the ball. That was amazing. Using a general comment to agree. A. Chinese food is delicious. B. Yes, all Asian food is. Unit 3. Disagreeing. Polite phrases for disagreement. Well, I am not so sure about that, to be honest. Well, I don't know. Well, it depends. I don't really agree, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I don't totally agree with that. Informal, or direct, phrases for disagreeing, I disagree. I couldn't disagree more. I totally disagree. You must be joking. Come off it. Get real. Business conference phrase. Business conference phrase, the yes, but, technique for disagreement, a, I just didn't think it was a very good presentation not fluent, you know what I, mean? b, yes, but at least he was well prepared. a, our price is too high. We have to improve sales. b, yes sales are important but we can't lower our price. Using though or although for disagreement, A, I just didn't think it was a very good presentation not fluent, you know what, I mean? B, MMMM. Although I thought he was pretty well prepared, he wasn't very, fluent, you're right about that. A, our price is too high. We have to improve sales. B, MMM. Although I really don't think we can lower our price, I totally agree, 
that we have to do something to improve sales. Using a negative question to disagree, A, wow, that was a great movie. B, but don't you think it was just a little too long? Using A really to disagree, A, it's almost time to go home. B, really? But we just got here. Unit 4, Making Suggestions, well, one possibility would be to, hire more staff. Perhaps we should, have more vacation? It's just an idea, but, how about leaving a little bit early today? Shall we try to look at this from another point of view? Well, what if we try to open a new store in Germany? Unit 5 Rejecting and Accepting Suggestions Rejecting a suggestion, good suggestion. But frankly speaking I can see one or two problems with that. That's a good idea, but I'm not sure it would work, to be frank. I'm not really sure about that. Do you think so? Accepting a suggestion, okay, let's do that. That's not a bad idea. Yes, I think that would work really well. Good idea. Great idea. Business conference phrase. Unit 6 meetings, clarifying what was said, clarifying the spelling of a word or name, how do you spell that? Would you mind telling me how that's spelled? May I ask how that's spelled? Could you spell that for me, please? Using the 5 W's where, when, why, what and how to clarify, A, tomorrow, we're going to Madras. B, sorry, where did you say? A, I said Madras. B, oh, Madras. A, they're arriving at 4 a.m. in the morning. B, pardon me, when did you say? A, 4 a.m. In the morning. B, oh dear. That's what I thought you said. Clarifying when you didn't hear clearly, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Sorry, what did you say? I'm afraid I didn't catch that. Could you say that again? Sorry, I'm afraid I didn't quite hear what you just said. Would you mind, saying it again? More informal. Pardon? Come again? What was that? Say again? Using it and when do you use that to clarify? A. My name is Karamazov. B. Sorry, what was that? A. My name is Karamazov. B. Sorry, I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. Could you repeat it? Business conference phrase. Business conference phrase, Unit 7, clarifying what was meant, clarifying meaning, what exactly do you mean by that? Sorry, what do you mean by that? I don't quite see what you mean. Could you be a little more specific? Sorry, I'm not with you. Could you explain what you mean? Sorry, I don't follow you. Could you run through that again? Sorry, that was totally clear to me. What exactly are you driving at? Providing clarification, I think what I'm getting at is that. What I mean to say is that. To make a long story short. Acknowledge, check back, and confirm, A, I just think it's been really hard. And, well, you know. It's not the best way to, do things. B, uh -huh. Let me make sure I understand what you mean. You're saying that, this is just not going to work, right? A, well, let's see. I think it's just time to try something different. B, okay. Let me get this straight. What you mean is that we've got to invent a, New strategy. Have I got that right? A. 
it's important that we keep the quality high at any cost. B. I understand. So, we're not going to put profit before quality. Am I correct? Negotiating the meaning, A. I think he's hard to work with. B. That's one way of looking at it. I think he's impossible. Clarifying a single word or expression, could you just go over what you mean by a big change? Sorry, I don't understand exactly what you mean when you say come to grips. Can we just go back for a moment to what you said about timing? I'm not quite sure what you mean by as soon as possible. Using actually to clarify the meaning, A, so what you're getting at is that we need to get a new computer system right, away? B, sorry, that's not exactly what I'm saying. Actually, I think we can use the current system a little while longer. Referring to what someone just said in order to change or build on the topic, A, I just ran into in the elevator after he met with the boss. He looked a little, nervous. B, really? It's funny you should mention that. I mean, I saw his manager just, now, and he was looking pretty angry. I wonder what's going on? Business conference phrase. Unit 8, opening a meeting, starting the meeting, okay. Let's get down to business. All right then. Can we get started? Okay folks. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Can I get everybody's attention? I think it's about time we get started. All right everybody. We need to get this show on the road. Welcoming and thanking people for attending. Well, good afternoon everybody. It's good to see you all here. Did everyone get the agenda? Great. Thank you all for coming. Hello everyone. I'm glad to see you all here. I know it's a long way for some of you to come. I really appreciate your being on time and ready to work. Vague or unspecific language. A. Have you found the problem with the numbers? B. We've been looking all afternoon, but still can't seem to find it. I think there's a problem with the spreadsheet or something. A. The boss is looking really happy. He must have gotten a bonus. B. Or something. I heard he has a new girlfriend. Maybe that's it. Introducing new colleagues, first of all. I'd like to introduce George from the Hong Kong office. Would you like to say a few words about yourself, George? Everybody say hello to Kirumi. She's visiting us from the Japan office. Explaining the purpose of your meeting. The reason we're meeting today is to work out ways to deal with the marketing challenges that we're facing. The primary purpose of this meeting will be to start a discussion on ways to cope with the huge increase in demand that we're seeing. The main problem that we're facing is how to manage our growth. The main thing I'd like to accomplish today is defining the key problem areas that we see with our current plan. Introducing the agenda. Let's take a quick look at the agenda. As you can see, it's broken down into five main parts. I've divided up the meeting today into three parts. I've prepared some figures to help us compare the two options. I'll distribute them now. Introducing the first item on the agenda, great. Well, we have a lot to cover, so let's get down to business. George. Could you start by explaining the background on the first item? All right then. Let's start then, shall we? Katie, why don't you tell us what you've been thinking on the advertising issue? Right. Suzanne, would you be so kind as to begin? Business conference phrase. 
Business Conference Phrase, Unit 9, Managing the Discussion, Keeping the Discussion on Track, I can see what you're saying, but let's try to keep to the agenda. To save time, we need to stay on track. Let's try not to get too far off topic. Let's get back to that later. For now, I really want to stick to the agenda. That's an interesting point, but let's talk about that when we come to it. Can we get back to the main point? We've got a lot of ground to cover, so I suggest do our best to stay on track. Widening the discussion to include more people, what other approaches are there to this problem? Does anybody have any ideas? How about other people? Any comments? Let's go around the table and get reactions to that idea. Who would like to begin? Are there any other ways to think about this? Changing topics, good. I'd say that's about all for that topic. Now, let's turn to the issue of sales. Well, we've just about covered the San Francisco office. Let's continue by discussing Buenos Aires. Time is pressing. Let's leave that there and move on to the next point on the agenda, okay? Checking for agreement, can I get a quick show of hands? All those in favor? Let's take a vote. How many people are for this idea? Against? Thanks. Just quickly, is there anyone else that supports the strategy of reducing overhead? Please raise your hands. Business conference phrase. Unit 10 interrupting and resisting interruption, declaring the purpose of a meeting. I called this meeting today to work out ways to deal with the marketing challenges that we're facing. The primary purpose of this meeting will be to brainstorm ways to cope with the huge increase in demand we're seeing. The main problem we're facing is how to manage our growth. The main thing I'd like to accomplish today is defining the key problem areas that we see with our current plan. Phrases to make an interruption. Can I just come in here? Tony, I just like to add that. Excuse me for interrupting, but can I just add a few words on that topic? Could I just interrupt you there? Can I say something here? Sorry to interrupt, but hasn't this been agreed already? Sorry to butt in, George. It's just that I don't think we've adequately covered the topic of price increases, and I'd like to add a little point here. Finishing what you were just saying, hold on a SEC, let me just finish what I was saying, I'll come to that in a moment. So, as I just mentioned, I haven't finished what I was saying, now, wait a moment. May I just finish? If you will allow me to continue. I wonder if I could explain that at the end. Let me come back to that point later. Just a moment please, I won't be long. I wonder if I could continue with what I was saying. I'll be glad to clarify any points at the end. Partly conceding a point, I can see what you mean, but... There may be something to that. However... Completely conceding a point. Right, I can see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You may have a point there. Yes, there's something to that. Uh-huh, -huh, that makes sense. Business conference phrase. Business conference phrase, Unit 11, Discussing a Problem, Part 1. Introducing a problem. Well, let's turn to a problem that's on everyone's mind. So, we need to tackle a fairly pressing problem today. I know we've all been discussing this particular issue recently. As you all know, we're going to look at the problem of focusing discussion breaking problem down. We need to deal with this problem before it gets out of hand. What are the underlying causes of the problem? 
N, what can you tell, us? What is at the root of this problem? Any suggestions? Perhaps we can begin by breaking down the problem? Who can start? Stopping interruptions letting someone finish their contribution. Hold on, can we let Janine finish? Sorry, I think it's important to give everyone a chance to contribute. One moment John, perhaps we can allow Fred to continue? Just a second, I wonder if we can give Nadine an opportunity to complete that thought? Can we just let Sally finish her point? We can discuss objections later. Consensus building, I think we're on the right track. We're definitely on the same wavelength. I can tell we're all on the same page. We've covered a lot of ground together. Stating a problem as a challenge, how can we meet our deadlines without working overtime? How could we cut costs without losing quality? How should we approach this problem without offending anyone? How can we find the defect without shutting down the factory? Business Conference Phrase Unit 12, Discussing a Problem, Part 2 Closing a Discussion Summing Up Well done, team. I think we've got a grip on this. Excellent work, everybody. I'd say we've really managed to pull it off. Outstanding teamwork, folks. Let's wrap it up. Nice work, everyone. It looks like we've got it. Encouraging critique. I'd like to hear your comments on this issue, taking into account our previous discussion. I'm open to feedback on these points keeping in mind how we've defined the problem. Can we consider each point, bearing in mind how little time we have? Let's take a look at the solutions one by one, considering what our objective is. Critiquing a point with a contrasting reason. It's impossible to see how hiring another person will have an effect, seeing as productivity is the problem. I can't see him agreeing to that given his resistance to change. I just can't visualize three desks in each office, since it's so cramped with just two. Asking the warehouse staff to do that is not an option, keeping in mind that it's against union rules. Adding more tasks is out of the question, considering that they're already working overtime. Eliminating impractical ideas. We'll have to discard this idea, as there's no way to implement it right now. Is everyone agreed that we can reject the second suggestion? This contribution will have to be dropped for the moment, but we can keep it in mind for next year. While this is a great idea, we'll have to exclude it under the circumstances. I'm afraid that we have to rule out this suggestion due to its unpredictability. Confirming best solution. There's no doubt that eliminating the most unprofitable division is the best course of action. It's clear that expanding the R&D department is the best option. Relocating the staff room during the renovation is the obvious choice. Clearly, closing that office is our best move at this point. Suggesting points for action. Our deadline is coming up quickly so we need to get authorization for overtime. The replacement order is ready to be shipped, so one of us should recheck it immediately. Three containers have arrived, so if you authorize our broker to put a rush on it, we can get the toys out to stores right away. We can't slow production, but we can ramp up inspections to make sure that quality doesn't suffer. Business Conference Phrase Business Conference Phrase Unit 13, Meetings, Finishing Up and Action Points, Signaling the End of the Meeting, That's about everything we wanted to get through today. Are there any loose ends left to wrap up? No? Well, I think that's just about all for our meeting today. If there aren't any more questions, 
let's just wrap it up here. Asking a question at the end of the meeting, just a quick one here. Can I just ask a quick question? Sorry, Lisa, I just have a little question. Excuse me for a moment, there's just one more I think we need to talk, about. Let's see how things go or playing it by ear. Let's play it by ear. Let's wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Let's take it one thing at a time. Discussing action points with going to. Style 1, going to, Heather and Mick are going to check up on the buyer, and I'm going to look, through our database. Bill, you're going to investigate this issue and get back to me in a couple, weeks. Emphasizing the decision with going to. So we're all agreed. We're going to work hard until we solve this problem. Emphasizing the arrangement with present continuous. So it's all arranged. You're doing the proposal and I'm doing the PowerPoint. Stating action points, style 2, I'm doing. Sally, you're meeting with an important potential client next week. Frank, you're traveling to Hong Kong in November to oversee the office's implementation of the new security procedure. Style 3, Future Continuous, and Charles, you'll be working the morning shift in October and November, while Cecilia is on holiday. Sven, you'll be going through our database carefully page by page to look for errors. Emphasizing action points. I can't stress enough how important it is to succeed with this. It's critical that we solve this problem. Business conference phrase. Raping up the meeting, that's it for today. That covers it all. Any last questions? No? Okay, see you next time. Motivating phrases, I know you're going to succeed. I have great faith in you. Get out there and do your best. Let's knock em dead. Business conference phrase. The term for business negotiation, by David Pye, useful language, UNIT1 negotiation.